Hello. Hello. Okay. Hello. Hello? Hello? Cool, now it can be heard. Right. Hello? Cool, now it can be heard. I'm starting off this profile with... Three copies of Fabled Cerebell. Two copies of Izuchi. Three wind-up kitten, two Kalantosa, two Velhorn, two Fenny, two Ukati, three Puppy, two Pony, two a bank. Those are my monst those are my monsters. They are five seven of them are tuners, two of them are fabled. The fabled ones are Cerebell and a bank. A bank is discard if it is in the if it is in the graveyard. Discard a card. A fabled to special it. Cerebell if discarded is special summoned. Nazuchi special summons by discarding a fabled and can special summon a level two or lower. Uh, special summon a level two or lower fabled from hand. The control side of it comes in with Kalantosa and Veilforn. Veilforn discarding a card to special summon. Another beast from Grave, Kalantosa, is used in every deck that uses beasts. Fenny special summons from hand if returned from the field. Catty searches. Puppy special summons from deck. Pony adding from grave. They create a pack a package that allows you to control what your opponent what your opponent is doing. If combined with Unicor. Unicor is if, if both players have equal hand, negate everything your opponent does. One Regeki, one Harpy's Feather Deathster, one Monster Reborn. These three are pretty standard. They are your board wipes and recovery plays. Avarice and Hide and Seek, Melfi Hide and Seek, both help with their recovery plays. You can shuffle back in with either five of any or three beast to draw two, draw one or draw two, and set your grave your deck up again. A bee schooled special summons from de three from deck. Aes Rock Sunrise is monster reborn with upside, and is your two copies. And you run two. I have two. You can run three. It gets cloggy at three. Uh, Chris Forrest is a tech choice. Every beast gets a hundred attack per er, beast in grave. Field spells cannot be activated. If your opponent is playing Numeron and you have this, they immediately cannot. They cannot play if you activate it first. Two MST, two Twin Twister. Their back extra back row removal. Uh, Melfi Tag is special summon a Melfi from Grave. Fateful Hour is target a special ill summonable mon a monster that cannot be normal summoned or set. Special summon it. It is f five re revives if need be. It revives for your extra deck basically. Uh, to Hastor, Hastor is. If it leaves the field from the monster zone, goes to spell and traps. 
from the Get Rave, funnily enough. Uh, two Ronin Raccoon to give you token, give you a detach, make a token of the biggest thing on the field. Uh, Chris Javelin is also a tech choice. It is a once per turn negate by discarding. Mannequin Cat is a revive if your opponent's press summons. Uh, technically, no. It's a summon from deck if your opponent summons anything. Detach to force your opponent to summon something. Uh, Melfi of the Forest is a search card and negates attacks and effects if a Melfi is returned. Melfi Mummy and Joyous Melfi are, atta are a immune to damage and attack and uh, burn or attack directly and can ba and can recycle your beast. Firefighting Darumadol is extra MSTs. Right, let's go into the in let's see the deck in action, shall we? It has an okay setup turn. Ideally you want to be going first. If you are going first with this deck, you are likely going to be winning. Because control winning in control all decks. It's going first is not a good is not a great thing. Honest. In the actual fable version in the actual version of this deck, where I'd run more fabled, I would probably run honest. Uh I can manipulate to three, depending what my opponent does. It has a bad time against Unic against decks that run Maxi because you special summon a lot. But that's not really a problem because your first turn is you can be because we only have we have two puppy uh, puppy each Melfi is once per turn you can special summon during your end phase so we literally can only summon one of these I want to, you want to detach grab a catty This actually helps if you have if you have obedience schooled. Your best play is Unicor and Cat is Unicor and Melfi of the Forest. The reason I say that is because your deck is then able to, you can then egg, egg three times. This allows you to fluctuate between three cards instead of the one I can do now. I have interruptions in the form of Puppy, which is Special Summon from Deck. Kalantosa Popping is Special Summon from Puppy. Catty is Rota. Mantis. Okay. Uh, you summon dog, use puppy and catty. And catty. Uh, both return to hand. This is gonna be an upward struggle though. So summon from deck. Um, Calentosa. Sorry, add from deck. Okay, add a Calentosa then. Especially, I don't want to burn both of my Kantoses. Special Pony, actually. I did mess that up. I should have done that the other way around. But chain resolves. Activate Melfi the Forest negate the effect of can't attack. Unfortunately, my opponent is probably going to just link it off. 
as soon as I said that, the second I said that, they, they linked it off. Great. Can't attack over me. No. Oh. I thought that was. I thought that was going to be a hand trap then. Damn. Look at this hand advantage. Look at it. One, two, three. Hmm. They can link three, rank four. They probably are going to rank four. I'd say. My voice sounds really, really bad. Okay, so we've got Dianea, uh, sorry, Rafflesia, and a bunch of back row. It's prob that's pretty standard for this deck. Draw. Monster card or Literally. It literally is. Um... Uh, I've got two puppies. I can draw out the negate on this by doing this. <gasps> no negates. Excellent. I give me this. Stupid awesome, awesome idea. Go! Belfon Oop. Yeah, I'm gonna have to call.